Diamond Painting friends, Jessica here with Tiny World of Wonder, stopping in to share our grand finale celebration for Summer with the Masters. We did it, you guys. We made it all the way to August 14th. I can't believe it. These are huge projects. We kept our motivation up and we have some amazing works in progress and finishes to share with you today. Now, if you weren't in on Summer with the Masters this time around, I have heard a lot of clamoring out there in the community for another event focused on the same topic next year. So hold tight on that. If that decision is made and there's news to share about that, of course, Katie and I will let you know. We really, really enjoyed this event. We want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your support and for showing us a lot of love during the whole process. We really appreciate all of you. It was so great watching your pictures come across that hashtag Summer with the Masters. There are more than 600 beautiful photos over there and I strongly encourage you, even if you haven't been participating this year, to go check that out over on Instagram. Just search hashtag Summer with the Masters you are going to be inspired, you guys, by what diamond painting can be. Diamond painting can be all kinds of things. We love all kinds of diamond painting here at Tiny Worlds of Wonder and over at Diamonds and Washi. We love all styles of art. We love the special drills. We love it all. But there is something amazingly special about these old masters pieces when you step back and you watch that confetti just blend together, when you watch this work of art emerge at the end of the process. So I'm so grateful to those of you who have come along for the ride and for those who have just been following along on the sidelines. It has been so much fun doing giveaways and making our educational series and the whole, the whole event has been awesome. Now that educational series will stay up in perpetuity for you guys to view if you'd like to refresh it and of course if you'd like to share it with anyone in your life who you think would love learning more about public domain artwork and the old masters and the possibilities for diamond painting that live in that genre of art. It's a really fascinating topic and Katie and I are super proud of those videos. We worked really hard on them so we'd love it if you would share them with someone who would enjoy them as well. Now today, of course, is the last day to enter Summer with the Masters. You can enter with your Old Masters canvas on the Google form in the description all the way through midnight Pacific Standard Time tonight. And then tomorrow I will be back with the grand finale drawing for Summer with the Masters. So be sure to check back tomorrow for that little bonus video. Today what I'd like to do is just take you on a grand tour of some of the amazing projects that all of you have been working on over the last few months. Now of course finishing projects was not a prerequisite for entering and so I'm going to be showing you some works in progress as well as some finishes and I want to celebrate all of those. Now of course with 600 photos posted over at Summer with the Masters on Instagram there's no way I can even begin to touch all of my favorite photos in our video today. So please go check that hashtag out to see all the other awesome work that's been done on those incredible diamond paintings. But here are a few that I would like to show you today. The first is from Raxify. They're working on Miranda the Tempest. I believe this is from Uniquely Yours Down Under, isn't it, Raxify? Um, this is a canvas that Katie completed as well. They've got a great start on the confetti down here at the bottom, and that's looking just stupendous. Keep up the great work, Raxify. The next photo is from 1803.kjs.le.g. They're working on Almond Blossoms by Van Gogh. This is turning out absolutely beautifully. Look at all those blues. Look at the beautiful blended confetti. I love it so much. Amazing work, LEG. That's looking awesome. The next one is our friend Laura over at Anxiety Art Adventures. Laura worked on and completed this beautiful Red Moon by Homer Conant. This was a release from Distracted by Diamonds, one of their very first canvases and this turned out just beautifully. I love its vintage, like 19 teens, 1920s vibe. It's very, very cool. Way to go, Laura, that looks amazing. Art Into Diamonds plans to start this beautiful piece called A Child's Bath by Mary Cassatt. This is a beautiful canvas. 
When a canvas even looks this good with no drills on it, you know it's going to look amazing with drills on it. So Art Into Diamonds, that is a fabulous selection. I really, really love that. The next selection is by Barbara. She worked on irises from Diamond Dots. I love Diamond Dot Sparkle. I can tell from this photo, Barbara, how sparkly this canvas is. It looks beautiful. Congratulations. Thanks for sharing it. It's a beautiful choice. The next photo I want to share is by Bedazzled DP Artist. They did an excerpt from Botticelli's Virgin and Child, and I think this rendering is beautiful. I love I love the idea of doing excerpts of large-scale works as diamond paintings. This portrait looks absolutely gorgeous. Congratulations. Beautiful work. This classic Starry Night was submitted by Caitlin's Craft Corner. This is, of course, the Diamond Dots version, which I think is gorgeous and sparkly and has some really interesting purples and browns up in the sky. It's really, really pretty. Congratulations on that finish, Caitlin. That is gorgeous. Colleen Crafts Everything is working on this Mooka. I love Mooka. Look at the size of this canvas. This is La Tosca, of course. This is going to be absolutely incredible. Now, I'm not positive that I got the latest version of all the photos that I picked. So, Colleen, you may have made way huge progress on this one. I know I've seen some white drill placement from you and it's fantastic. So I know you've made a start, but I wanted to show the overview picture here. That is gonna be incredible. Crystal de Leon worked on this young girl reading by Fregonard. Crystal, I didn't see a finished photo, so I'm just showing an almost finished photo here. I'm sure you finished it by now. This is a gorgeous canvas. It looks stunning. Congratulations on what I'm sure is a finish and a beautiful choice for the event. Serious Diamond Painting. This is The Birth of Venus, of course, by Botticelli. This is an 80 by 60 rendering. And for an 80 by 60 on a piece of art this detailed, I am really impressed. I think this is gorgeous. I can tell how much work and love went into this one. Congratulations on that incredible finish. Serious Diamond Painting is also working on the Siren by my favorite John William Waterhouse. I know this isn't the most recent progress photo, but I just love this photo and how detailed our poor victim <laughs> is rendered in this canvas. This is a 75 by 100 centimeter. The rendering is beautiful. Serious, I know, I know that this has been a huge project and I just wanna say, you got this. It's looking beautiful, and I can't wait to see the end result. It's stunning. This next photo is from D, Dawn of the Dead. They worked on olive trees in a 40 by 50 size. I must say the rendering on this one is gorgeous. These Van Goghs lend themselves so well to diamond painting. This looks beautiful. Congratulations on that finish. Stupendous. You guys, you know I'm not supposed to have favorites. And I really try not to have favorites, but I have to tell you that this finish is one of my favorites for the whole event. This is by Delma Fahi. This painting is by Emma Sawyer, dated 1831. I believe Delma got this from Uniquely Yours Down Under, and boy, is it beautiful. Oh, I can tell how well the confetti blends at viewing distance on this one. The rendering is gorgeous, and it is a gorgeous choice for Summer with the Masters. Absolutely stunning, Delma. Congratulations on that. This next very unique entry, I had not thought of Kandinsky, to be honest, as a potential diamond painting. But after this, I'm going to consider Kandinsky for diamond painting for sure. This photo is from Diamond Painting Anonymous. They finished this piece by Kandinsky. The rendering is very, very nice. And I am surprised by how well this very graphic style renders in diamond painting. It looks absolutely beautiful. Congratulations on this finish and what a creative choice. I love it very much. Drills and thrills, my homie. We're both working on this Zodiac canvas. This is by Mooka, of course, 
and I have really enjoyed seeing your progress, drills and thrills. I love this one and I love the rendering. I believe this rendering is from Evermoment and it is turning out gorgeous. I believe you're really close to finishing this one, if I'm not mistaken. So if you already have, huge congratulations. This selection is from Emerald and Fairy Lights. This piece is called Girls at the Piano by Renoir. Of course, I love this one and you can tell from this photo, a very nice photo, Emeralds and Fairy Lights, that the sparkle on this is insane, just like all Diamond Dots. I love this selection, it's a beautiful choice. Congratulations on the finish. This piece is by Fangirl Diamond Art. This is called Angel of the Martyrs by Edward Byrne Jones. I know this is also not the latest progress photo, but I thought it showed the beauty of this canvas really, really well. That one's in my top few. <laughs> really really love this one congratulations and what a beautiful choice i can't wait to continue to see all your progress on it it is stunning another one that i think is absolutely stunning is gauge girls a little sea maiden this one is from royal diamond painting i i just can't get over it <laughs> i'm pretty sure this is also not the most recent progress photo but it is gorgeous so i wanted to share it with you and I wanted to show you the scale of the canvas as well and as much of the face as possible because this rendering is lovely. You guys are serious enablers and I'm, I'm pretty tempted to buy this one myself. So congratulations on that one. Now this canvas is an undertaking, you guys. This is Gems and Tonics Caravaggio painting. The size on this one is truly epic, but you can see as an example on this photo that bigger really is better this is truly tremendous i'm floored by it i can't get over it every time you share a progress photo on this one i just about lose my mind and i show my whole family and i'm like look guys this is what diamond painting can be <laughs> huge congratulations this is beyond beautiful. This next photo is from Ginger Diamond Paints. This is Wheatfields by Van Gogh from Diamond Dots. Diamond Dots does a beautiful version of this canvas and I absolutely love the bright colors. They're very rich and they pop and I know it sparkles like crazy. This is by Helen Clemens, Mom of Six. This is a painting nicknamed Little Irene by Renoir. I love her beautiful red hair. The rendering on this is stunning. This is truly a work of art. Congratulations, Helen. It is fabulous. Helen also did this excerpt from the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. It's beautiful. Her description in the title of this photo is beautiful. Go check it out. I really, really loved seeing this, Helen. And I, like I said, I love the idea of doing these excerpt pieces. You can get really nice renderings and really artistic croppings and it's it's fantastic this next canvas oh it's another of my favorites i have to admit <laughs> this is from jade the tailor this is called the sleeping cardinal she's doing this in an 80 by 100 centimeter and like i said you guys bigger really is better you can see how phenomenal the rendering looks there on the bottom i am just very amused by this piece as well i think it's very <laughs> It's very, it has a lighthearted vibe to it that I think is really cool. And the colors are just so awesome. Congratulations, Jade. I love that one. Here's another woman in gold. This is from Jan Gray. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your username there, but wow, I really love how we can see the pop of turquoise in this photo. It's a really rich colored photo and it really does this piece justice. Congratulations, Jan. This is absolutely stunning. I love it, love it, love it. Next up from Diamond Art Club, we have Starry Nights. This is by Jennifer Kurt 76 I've done this canvas and I loved it. <laughs> it's really great. The blues are lovely and I love how DAC and Diamond Dots render the same art in a very different way and both are absolutely beautiful. Congratulations on that finish. I love that one. This photo is from Jess Planner Lover. This is called View of a Southern French City by art, the artist Hossum. I think that this really soft impressionistic style translated beautifully in this piece. 
and it is stunning. Huge congratulations on the finish, Jess. I really enjoyed watching your progress on this one and it was a really unique choice. I love your originality. Fabulous finish. This is from Jujube Diamonds. This is called The Fitting. This is from Heaven and Earth Designs. It's one of their crown jewel canvases, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is a tremendous finish. I think the faces in this piece for the size of this canvas are rendered beautifully. And I cannot get over the folds in the dresses there. That is just, it's just too much. <laughs> Congratulations on this stunning finish. It looks gorgeous. This next one is from our friend Julie, AKA Free Cat 5. This is a gorgeous still life painting. Is this a Jan van Heysen? Julie, I can't remember who the artist is on this one, but maybe you can tell me in the comments below. Um, this turned out gorgeous. Those pops of color on the black background, the way you framed it up, it is beautiful. I showed you guys Julie's Madihara canvas a while ago. So this is now sitting next to that beautiful work of art in Julie's house. Congratulations, Julie. This is of course the swing from our friend Kay. She is working on this piece by Fragonard. She is doing this in a whopping 105 by 140 centimeters <laughs> and she has showed me some scale photos of this and her setup is incredible you can tell from the rendering on this that this is a big 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 canvas but my oh my this is going to be completely worth it Kay and I cannot wait to see your progress on this as you go along it's incredible incredible this piece is from creations with diamonds this is of course boreas creations with diamonds did this one at just a 40 by 50 and i don't think i wrote down who rendered this one um but a fantastic rendering for 40 by 50. oh yes i did write it down it's royal diamond painting so huge congratulations creations with diamonds that is a lovely finish. You know I love it because it's Waterhouse. <laughs> it's beautiful. This next photo is also from Creations with Diamonds. This is Lady Lilith by Dominic Rossetti. And this turned out beautifully. Look how shiny and glossy her hair looks in this rendering. This um, piece of blue fabric that she's kind of draped under herself there. It's a very romantic and a beautiful, beautiful finish. Congratulations on both of those. This is a start from Lenka Lachat called The Mandolin Player. This is a painting by Princep. I believe this is from Heaven and Earth Designs. I love this one because I love the color scheme and I also love it because it has the musical instrument in it and I can't wait to follow your progress on that one. Love it, love it. This, these mocha canvases are formidable, you guys. Some of these are huge, but I've loved seeing them 100% of the time. This is a 50 by 145 centimeter canvas from Life, Life's Better with Sparkle. The piece is called Evening Contemplation, and they are working on this in a 50 by 145 centimeter canvas, and that is a lot of progress on a 50 by 145, you guys. Huge congratulations. You guys are just the coolest. Seriously, who does these things? This is, this is amazing. This is a canvas that I cannot wait to add to my stash one day. This is called Take the Fair Face of Woman by Sophie Jean Jambre Anderson. Um, this is from Live Sparks 01. I love this canvas. I can't wait to see it with drills on it. So please keep working on it, Liv. Oh, I love this one. Beautiful choice. This is a fantastic finish by Lizzie Loves Coloring. This is Idleness by Goddard. Liz did this as a custom from Crafties, I believe. And Crafties doesn't make their canvases in huge sizes. So I know this is a pretty reasonably sized canvas. The rendering of the face and the little kitty there, it's beautiful. This one turned out amazing. Congratulations to you. Now, aren't these canvases 
kind of in some ways their own reward because they're just so beautiful. Oh my gosh, this one is fabulous. This is from our friend Mark. He ordered this from Royal Diamond Painting. This is Young Man by the Sea. The artist is Flandron. Isn't this going to be tremendous? Mark, I cannot wait to follow your continuing progress on this one. I absolutely love this canvas and I think it is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This photo is from Marty Bakerbaum, our friend. Hi, Marty. So Marty did Soul of the Rose. This is Distracted by Diamonds version, I believe, with these rich, bold colors. Loving that. This is a beautiful photo. You can see lots of sparkle. And I love the rich red in the hair on this one. Beautiful finish, Marty. I know a few of you did this canvas, and I loved seeing all of all of your finishes on this one. It was gorgeous. Um, Val, I know you finished this one. I know I'm forgetting a, a lot of people who worked on this one, but it's a beautiful canvas and I can't wait to start it myself. This photo, oh, you guys, it's another favorite. This is from Mel Leilani called Una Mestiza. This is by Juan Luna, the famous artist from the Philippines. I think I highlighted Juan Luna in my lesser known artists at the suggestion of Mel, and it was a great suggestion. Look at how beautifully this canvas is turning out, the folds in the skirt, um, the beautiful hair she has cascading behind her. It is just, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Congratulations, Mel. This is absolutely lovely. I hope you'll do some more of these Juan Lunas because I would love to see some more of his artwork in diamond painting. Here is another The Kiss. This is from Len's Diamond Painting. Len, I love seeing this finish. These bold, bright colors are gorgeous. The special drills are gorgeous. I love that this is a partial, but it blends really, really well. I love this canvas. Congratulations on the finish. It's a great choice. This is from our friend over at On The Hook Crochet. This is, of course, a girl with a pearl earring. She has it all framed up. She added some beautiful special drills to this canvas. Go check out On The Hook Crochet's channel. She has a great channel, and she does some diamond painting as well as crochet over there. I really enjoyed following the progress on this one, and she has another great work in progress too for you guys to follow along with. So check her out on the hook crochet. This picture is from Ryan R8210. This is of course the Sunflowers by Van Gogh in a 40 by 30-ish, I believe if I'm reading the, the photo correctly. The colors are marvelous. I love these warm, rich colors. <gasps> the sparkle, <gasps> the Van Gogh. <gasps> it's all the things, Ryan, congratulations. This one is a photo from Shala Harius. Hope I'm saying your name right. Um, this is Claire de Lune, a 70 by 170 square drill canvas with 94 colors. I can't get over it. These mukas are just next level. I love them so much. Um, I know this is not a current picture, Shalaharius has made a start on this one. You guys should follow along. It's gorgeous. It is lovely, but I wanted you to see the whole canvas. So congratulations on the start. It is fantastic. This is our friend Steph, girls. <laughs> Steph, I almost called you girls are a drill's best friend, <laughs> which is also true, but drills are a girl's best friend. This is... Dolce Far Niente by Goddard, and this turned out so gorgeous. Look at the face on this rendering. It is just too much. Huge congratulations, Steph. This is truly a work of art and an epic finish, and I hope it's hanging up in your house right now. This is another Kandinsky by Suzy Q Diamonds. I love this one. I love how the graphic nature of Kandinsky translated so well to diamond painting. Great job on the sizing and selecting the size on that. I think this one turned out amazing. The beautiful sparkle combined with that kind of graphic element of Kandinsky is just lovely. And last but not least today, we have Swallen B called The Meeting on the Turret Stairs. 
I think this might be another hade if I'm not mistaken. And I know sometimes those hades, it can take a long time to get the drills in for those. I cannot wait to see your progress on this one. I can't wait to see how those beautiful folds in the dress turn out. I love this canvas. I love this one. I love this painting. It's a gorgeous painting. Aren't these canvases absolutely amazing, you guys? Huge congratulations to you and a huge round of applause for all of your amazing work on Summer with the Masters. I hope at the end of the day that the result of this event has been to promote the value and the beauty and the appreciation of Old Masters artwork from every corner of the world. I really hope you enjoyed the event and I'm so, so thankful to Katie for being a great co-host and partner for the last couple of months. I hope you'll join us for Drills and Chills. We're heading straight into that on September 1st. We hope to see you there. As always, spread some art wherever you are, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.